I planned it that way. Yeah, you told me. Now, the moment the policeman disappears around the corner, the night watchman in the bank will walk inside past the door. Uh-huh. I'll get ready with it. I'm ready. Good. Got the ketchup on my face. Yes. Think it looks bad enough? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, now. There's the watchman. And here I go. Oh! Oh! Oh, help me! Help me! Go away! I can't open the door! You gotta help me, please! Help! Let me in! I can't open the door! Quick! They're coming after me! They'll kill me! Hurry! Please hurry! If this is some trick... No trick! Open the door! All right, but if this is a trick, you'll never pull another one. Oh, oh gee, thanks, Mr. You saved my life. Hey, your face, what happened to Quick, it? let me in. For sure, sure. Thanks. Oh, don't close the door yet. Why, you... I'm coming in. What the... And you're going out. Huh? Ah, he's dead, Professor. Of course, Rufus. I planned it that way. And now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. <laughs> Why are we stalling, Professor? Let's huh? open that safe. Oh, in a little while, Rufus. In a little while. I don't get it. We break in here quarter after six, and now it's almost eight o'clock. I can tell time, Rufus, very well. Yeah, I know. In fact, time is the most important entity in my life. You told me before. I make it work for me. Professor, how come you ain't noticed that construction gang coming to work in the opposite corner? Well, I saw them. I expected them. Huh? Now, have you clipped all the wires and disconnected all the alarms? I did that ten minutes after we got into this bank. And I'm just checking to see that there are no loose ends. This plan is perfect. Nothing can interfere with its success. Okay, okay, let's get going. Well, it's time now. Prepare the charge. Professor, are you off your rocket? I said prepare the charge. Well, you're not going to blow the safe open. That is my plan. Nobody will hear us. Nobody will investigate. Now, hurry up. Or it'll be too late. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Down to the last detail. Okay. There. Wait just a second. Yeah, there it is. Ready? All right. I'll stretch that wire back here. Here? Yes. Why do you keep looking at your watch? To see if we're on time. Oh. And we are. Ten seconds. Right. When I give you the signal, blow it. Okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now! to you, Officer Graham. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> what couldn't it do to you inside the bank? Oh, I'll be thinking of all the people outside having a good time. Then I'll have a good time. <laughs> uh, any excitement during the night? No, things was nice and peaceful until they started that construction job across the street. Yeah, oh, faith is difficult for a man to think. I'll be glad when my relief shows up. Oh, yes, I might as well be relieving the night watchman. Let him go home and go to sleep. See you around. Right, old Georgie. It's funny. The door is open. Harry! Harry! I'm beginning not to like this. I wonder if the safe. Oh, my goodness. Harry dead and the safe open and empty. Officer Graham! Officer Graham! Why, Josie, what's the matter, you white as a ghost? So everything was nice and peaceful during the night. Yes, sure. Well, where were you when some crooks blew the safe and killed Harry, the night watchman? Hold it, Rollins. Let's not go into the back yet. What, Inspector Faraday, I... Get in the car in a minute. I uh, want to talk to you. Sure, Inspector. What's the matter? I'm uh, just trying to get the picture. The picture? Yeah, the setup. 
Look around you. What do you see? Where? All around. Don't you see an intersection? Uh, two streets crossing each other, four corners. Yeah. And uh, what else? Why, uh, there's... Uh... On the one corner, a printing press. On the second corner, an all-night diner. Uh-huh. On the corner opposite us, a construction gang working since 7.30 this morning. And next to us, the bank. Uh, isn't that what you see? Oh, yes, sir. Then with all this activity, how come nobody hears the watchman being killed or the safe being blown? Why, uh... Hey, Bud, get that jalopy off the street. You're blocking traffic. Who do you take... Ah, uh, Blackie, what are you doing here? Sightseeing. Sight- and believe me, you're a sight. How'd you find out where I was? Okay. Well, who else would have the nerve to park in front of a non-parking sign next to a hydrant on a busy street corner? Okay, Blackie, what do you want? <laughs> I don't want anything. But I suppose you want your killer and bank robber. Now, what would I do with a killer and bank robber? Well, nothing, Barney. That's what I'm here. Is that so? Look, genius. Nobody saw the watchman get killed. Nobody heard the explosion. Nobody saw nothing. Mm-hmm. Now, why don't you run along? I got enough trouble. Okay. Hey, I'll be seeing you. You mean you're really going? Yeah. You've got nothing to go on, so I'll just go on. Say, Professor. Yeah? Don't you think it's kind of risky walking around like this? Suppose somebody sees us. Well, don't be silly, Rufus. Let them see us. And stop acting like a frightened child. Sorry, but I still can't get over the idea that this morning was too easy. Of course it was easy. Huh? I had planned that bank operation, not the last detail. Uh, here's the Garcia house. Uh, you wait outside. Okay. I should be more than five minutes. Right. Yes, what do you want? You are Mrs. Lenora Gasha. How you know me? And your husband is Mario Gasha? Mario, he's not home. It is now ten minutes after four. Your husband, Mario, has been home for five minutes. Uh, I want to talk to him. Hey, you a policeman? A policeman? Yeah. Oh, dear Mrs. Gasha, I am the professor. Oh, the professor. Yes. Come in, come in. I'm sorry. Come in, please. Mario! Yes? Put on a shirt and come out here. You've got a company. Who is it, Mama? It's the professor. Oh, come right out. Uh, sit down, please, Professor. Thank you. Uh, maybe you'll like to taste one of my cookies. Uh, huh? No, thank you, no. I baked them just this morning. No, thank you. I have oh, my please. dinner at six. Oh, please, this you can eat. No, She th- melted in your mouth like a boy. No, thank you. <laughs> please, Mama, if the professor say no, it's no. Now, uh, leave it alone. We have things for men to discuss and for women not to eat. All right. You come again, Professor, huh? I make you fun, cake. <laughs> ah, Professor Lenora, she's the finest cook in the whole world. I'm sure she must be. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Everything, uh, she's fine. She's how you say ship shape. That's right, Mario. Everything is ship shape uh. because I planned it that way. There was no room for error if you did your job. Sure. And you did it exceedingly well. <laughs> when I come to work this morning, I look two, three times across the street at the bank, but I see nothing. Then the foreman comes and says, hurry up, we got a big building to finish, and no nothing. But I wait, I take my time, and I make explosion at 8 o'clock in the dot, just like you say. To the second. Mm-hmm. It covered our blast in the bank very nicely. Bye. So now? You've done your job. Now I do mine. You are Mario? Eh? Four hundred dollars. Oh, thank you very much. Maybe we can repeat this procedure in the very near future. <laughs> eh, Professor, mm-hmm. I hear you killed the watchman. We had to. You're not telling me you killed the watchman? There are a lot of things we didn't tell you. I do my job. Nice, fine job, yes? I said you didn't. Then maybe I should get a nice, fine prize. One thousand dollars? Yes? Hi, Blackie. Rollins, where's Barney? He went out on a call about 20 minutes ago. He should be back. What's up? Has Barney learned anything about the death of the watchman and how the bank vault was blown without anybody hearing the blast? No, and it's driving him nuts and me with him. Okay, and saving your sanity. Huh? I know why nobody heard the blast, which blew the bank safe. Well, come on, Blackie, give. A construction gang across the street has been using dynamite to blast the foundation. Yeah? And the bank blast was timed to coincide with the blast on the construction job. 
Well, Blackie, that's taking an awful chance, hoping those two explosions go off at once. <laughs> there was no chance to this. It must have been planned. Yeah? And somebody in the construction job must have been in on the bank robbery. Blackie, it makes sense. Of course it does. Now all we got to do is find out who did the blasting on the construction job and grab him. I just checked. His name is Mario Gosher. We'll let Faraday pick him up. Oh, here's the inspector now. All right, all right. Chief, time's over. Scram, Blackie. I'm busy. Uh, too busy to pick up your bank robber and kill her at the same time? Okay, genius. You know something. Believe me, that's news. Well, the reason nobody heard the bank blast this morning was that they heard another blast at the same time, the one on the construction job across the street. Keep talking. you make sense. For a change. I checked the construction company and found out that the guy who does their blasting is Mario Garcia. Here's his address. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're 100% right and 100% late. Huh? I figured the gimmick, and I've just seen Mario. Well, good for you, Inspector. So you finally went out on your own and found a suspect. Well, suspect. well, well. How'd you connect Mario Gossi to the bank, Robbie? I didn't. Faraday, this is no time to be modest. And stop holding out on me. What did Gossi say? Blackie Gossi was in no talking mood. In fact, he was in no mood at all. What do you mean? He's been murdered. <laughs> And now, back to Boston Blackie. The professor, a scientific criminal, and his stooge Rufus killed the night watchman and rob a bank by blowing the safe. Nobody hears the explosion because the blast has been timed to coincide with a blast at a construction job across the street. Boston Blackie realizes why nobody heard the explosion at the bank and tells Faraday that the blaster on the construction job must have worked with the bank robbers. Blackie has also identified the blaster as Mario Garcia. Now all they have to do to solve the case is pick up this Mario Garcia and make him talk. Faraday replies that Mario Garcia has been murdered. As we return to our story, Blackie and Faraday are trying to discover something... Come on, Blackie, don't just sit there. Do something. Okay, Faraday. Okay, Faraday. If Rollins here will whistle a tune, you and I can dance. Yeah, All right. put it. <whistles> Quiet, Rollins! <laughs> That's enough. Look, Blackie, I got two unsolved murders instead of one. Plus a bank robbery, which is none of my business. I'm in no mood for your corny gags. <laughs> okay, Faraday. Yeah, okay, Faraday. Did Gosh's wife tell you anything at all? She couldn't. She was hysterical. The last I heard, she was under a doctor's care. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting till she calms down so I can question her. You've definitely tied Garcia to the bank robbery. Yeah, ballistics did that. The bullets that killed Garcia and the night watchman came from the same gun. But whose gun? Have you checked yours lately, Faraday? Mm, Is it missing or something? All right, that's enough, Blackie. Now beat it. You're getting me dizzy. <laughs> What's your excuse for being dizzy when I'm not here? So long, Faraday. Uh, what are you chortling at, Roland? Uh, nothing, nothing, sir. Why can't that guy find somebody else to bother? Phones, phones. Homicide, Inspector Faraday. Hello, hello, hello. This is this where you catch the murderers? What? Yeah. yeah, this is where we catch the murderers. Now, who is this? My name is Lenore Gasha. Lenore Gasha? Yes. Mario's wife? That's right. Where are you calling from? Where's the doctor? The doctor, he go home, and I run away. I don't want to be killed. I, I tell you where to catch the murderer. You go catch, yes? All right, look, Mrs. Gasha, you better come into headquarters. What? Yeah, we'll talk this over, huh? No, no, there's no time. I tell you, murderer, you go catch him. All right. He is the professor. The, the who? Professor, the professor. Oh, the professor, you don't mean a, a short, fat guy with glasses? Yes, that's the man who killed my Mario. If you go quick, you catch him. Okay, I'll be quick now. <laughs> yeah, where is he? You go to big fine house on Cannon Street. Cannon Street? It's only a house on the street. If you hurry, please, you catch him. Goodbye. Hey, hello. Hello. Rollins, Mrs. Yes, Garcia told us where to find our killer. I heard you say something about the professor. Yeah, we finally got a break in this case. Now, I know that, Mug, and now I've got something on him. And without Boston Blackie. All right, let's go. go. Inspector. What do you want, Rufus? Oh, I'm getting kind of tired, Professor, sitting at that window all day. Ain't nobody been around. Ain't nobody gonna be around. We can't take any chances. Go back to your window. In a minute, Professor. How's that job for tonight come along? I'm working out the details now. Well, how about letting me in on it? It's the Emerson Bank. Oh, yeah? I've made arrangements with Pablo Montero. Who's he? He has the same kind of a job as Mario Garcia. Well, do we uh, take care of Pablo, too? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, if you say so. Now, at the moment, I'm waiting for a phone call from Pablo to let me know what time we can... Uh, 
get to it. Uh-huh. In the meantime, get back to that window. Okay. I don't want anybody... Yes? Yes? When? Right. Goodbye. You sure like to talk a lot, don't you? Rufus, that was Pablo. Oh, yeah? Everything is timed perfectly. Now, get back to that window. Okay. Somebody may catch us by surprise. Ah, you're too careful. Rufus, how many times have you been in jail? Huh? Not twice. But they were bum rats. Oh, of course. But you weren't careful. Ah. I've never been in jail, Rufus. And as long as I'm careful, I never will. Get back to that window. Professor Sarsi. Yes, sir. All right, around the next block, Rollins. Okay, Inspector. Inspector, look. What? Two men running out of the house into the car. One of them's the professor. Hurry, Rollins. They'll get away. Don't worry. I will lose them. Now, you better not. It's the end of this case. I'll keep right. <laughs> that was pretty sharp, Professor. <laughs> Making me a look out at that top window. Good thing I saw that patrol car. The longer you work with me, Rufus, the more you'll see that I never leave anything to chance. Hey, Professor, they're gaining on us. I'll turn right to the next corner. Okay. They're still coming. Professor, this is Inspector Faraday. What the... This is Inspector Keep your eye on the road. Yeah, okay. Don't be allowed to speak on the police car. This is your first and last warning. I'll stop or I'll shoot. Hey, we better stop. No, you step on it. I'll take care of him. What are you going to do? The inspector will find out. Hey, hey, they shoot. <laughs> that was too close. Keep the wheel steady. I got a zigzag. I don't want to get hit. Rufus, do as I say. Okay. That's fine. Now it's my turn to shoot, and believe me, I won't miss. Please, Mr. Buffett, Black, and hurry up, hurry up. Hold it, hold it, I'm coming. Please, you... Now, what's the big idea? Oh, Boston Blackie. Yes, but... Oh, for quick, I come in. You shut the door. I talk to you. Look, lady, we... Please. Oh, well, all Please. right. Now, who are you and what do you want? My name is Lenore Gash. Mario's wife? Yes, and I, I want you to catch the man who killed my husband. Well, why come to me? Why not go to the police? I call the police, Inspector Faraday. I tell him who killed my husband. You told Faraday who the killer was? Yes, the professor. He killed my Mario. The professor behind this whole setup? Yes. Well, I guess the inspector has him behind bars by now. No, hasn't... no, the inspector, he has nothing. I, I tell inspector where to find him, but the professor, he's a too smart. He, he shoot a bullet in inspector's tire and then he run away. How do you know all this? I hear news on the radio. Now, you, Blackie, you must have catch the professor. Well, I don't know. I know you're a very good man. I, I tell you where to find him. Uh, hold it just a minute. You said the professor got away from Inspector Faraday. Yes, he got away in his car, but I know where he go. Where he go and what he's going to do. What? The professor, he's going to rob another bank soon. Which one? This I do not know, but right now he get dynamite from empty building near docks. Oh, there are a hundred empty buildings near the docks. But only one where you find the professor. Let's stop playing games, Mrs. Gosher. Which one? It is only building uh, painted white with the doors and the windows like, like a prison. You mean bars on the doors and windows? Yes. In this building, the professor, he keeps the dynamite, wires, everything he keeps in that building. It's gone off Rover Avenue. Rover Avenue. Yeah, now... No. Blackie, please hurry. I, I talk too much. You catch him before you run away. Yes? Okay, but first, I'll drop you at headquarters. You'll be safe for that. No, I don't go to police station. What is for your own protection? No, no, I Mrs. Don't Garcia. Don't, don't, Mrs. No, 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 no. Oh, well, maybe I better get to the professor and see what I can teach him. Hurry, Rufus, let's not dally. Professor, when I handle dynamite, that's once when I take my time. Well, let's not overdo it. We must be inside the Emerson Bank in one hour. It doesn't give us much time. Okay, okay. Now, let's say, uh, one automatic detonator, wire, cap. Say, Professor, what about Pablo? No need to worry on that score. Pablo has promised us that explosion in exactly one hour and 15 minutes. That's when our blast goes off. Is there any way we can signal him from the bank in case anything goes wrong? My dear Rufus, when I make plans, nothing goes wrong. There's a first time for everything, Professor. What? Hey, Professor, who is this mug? Boston Blackie. Huh? Hello, Blackie. Blackie. Michael in this place. Oh, no, Professor, don't reach for your gun. Oh, don't be silly, Blackie. I won't have to. Grab him, Rufus. No, no, you don't. Back out of here. You think. Hold him, Rufus. I'll start him with my gun. Okay, okay but hurry, will you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice going, Rufus. Yeah, the same to you, Professor. Oh, thank you. With that wallop on the back of his head, Blackie should be out for at least an hour. Well, just make sure, Rufus, tie him up. Right. But hurry, we don't have much time to get to that bank. And time is the most important factor in my life. Rufus. 
Yeah, I've disconnected the alarm and set the charge for six o'clock. That gives us three minutes. That's good. Now just waiting this out of the office away from the brass. Okay. Hey, Professor, look out the window. Oh? Huh? We can see the gang working on the lot across the street. Uh-huh. Uh, professor. Yeah, I hear somebody in the hall. Oh, nonsense at your imagination. Oh, I tell you. Hello, Professor. Mrs. Garsha. Yes. Should I shoot, Professor? No, but keep it covered. Okay. Mrs. Garsha, how'd you get here? I watched Blackie go into building and Rover Avenue. He no come out, but you come out, so I follow you. So you followed me? Yes. What do you want? You kill my Mario. Well? I tell police they no catch you. I tell Blackie he no catch you, but I catch you. And now that you've caught me, what is your next move, Mrs. Garsha? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Rufus has you covered with his gun. I don't care for guns. I fix the dynamite. What? Dynamite? Professor, what's she saying? I watch you put dynamite near safe, but I take wires off and I put dynamite right outside this door. What? It explodes any minute now. You fix, yes, Professor. I fix too. You're lying. I no lie. Well, say about that. You stop being so clumsy. Open the door. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you two, I open the door. It's not open. It's open inside. It's a snap line. What time might goes off in exactly one minute? Right. You kill Look, get out of here. How about the window? Well, it's a three-story drop to the ground. Well, it's no use, Professor. You're going to die. Are you crazy, woman? You'll die, too. I don't care. My Mario is dead. I don't want to live. You kill him. I kill you. Hey, maybe we can break this door down. Help me, Professor. Oh, the time. You fix everything just to do the minute, eh, Professor? Yeah. Now you know how long you've got to live, huh? So much time for this explosion, huh? <laughs> Hurry, we've got to get out of here. Now, you're a professor. This place is damn as fixed. We're good. Anyway, you we can try to get out. No. I planned this too oh. well. There's no way out. No way at all. What's the matter, Professor? You're afraid to die? No. You're not afraid to kill my Mario? No, I wasn't afraid to kill your Mario. No. But you're not going to see me die. No, I'm not. I'm going to kill you first. No. Now. Okay, hey. Professor, drop it. Blackie. Oh. Oh. I'll get him. Oh, my hand! Why, you shot my hand! Isn't that awful? It's like there's dynamite outside that door. set to go off in ten seconds. No, it isn't. Oh, I just no. to the wire. After I woke up, I untied myself and found plans for this place in your hideout. Oh, Blackie, why you disconnect the wires, Blackie? I want a professor to die for my Mario. Don't worry, Mrs. Garcia. The professor will die, all right. But we'll let the state do the job. <laughs> 